Hello and uh, welcome to Angular Meteor, uh, the library that combines uh, AngularJS applications with Meteor applications. Um, if you're starting from this video, you should check out the website first and maybe look at the at the two lectures here uh, on the bottom of the page. One is from the ng-conf for AngularJS developers and one is for in the Meteor Dev Shop for Meteor developers and both are good for both developers I think uh, so just try it out uh, and basically what I'm gonna do is just follow the existing tutorial I'm just gonna do it step by step so if you just follow the text you will do exactly like me and in the tutorial you can go between the steps, you can watch the live demo, you can see exactly the code diff for each step to make sure that you did done everything that needs to be done. And if you want to improve and change, you can always like fork with this button here, you can fork the library and add your explanations. So two other great sources of course are the Meteor website, meteor.com and uh, and of course the AngularJS website, angularjs.org, uh, uh, which have also, both of them has their own tutorials. I'll try in this tutorial to, to do everything they've done, but in the Angular Media way. Um, so let's start. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to install Meteor. So the only thing we need is to take this URL command, CURL command, and go to the termina terminal and install. Now, if you're on Windows, you have a Windows installer uh, that will do the same. Uh, but I'm doing it on a Mac. So after installing the Meteor, only thing I need to do is to start my app, uh, and you create a new app with the Meteor create command, and then I can uh, start working. So let's wait for it to download. Great, now let's go to the library we want to go to and let's create our new app. Meteor create Let's call it socially demo. And it will create a new app. Now let's close this window and open it in our um, editor. Great. Now we got a simple app, prepared app in Meteor. So the only thing we need to do to start the app is just type Meteor in the command line and it will start a local server in localhost 3000 and we can start the app. So let's go to localhost 3000 and we have a simple uh, Meteor app. Now, to start our app, um, first of all, let's start from scratch. So let's delete everything that exists here. Let's create a new index.html file. Now, I call it index.html just out of uh, convenience, but Meteor anyway runs over all the HTML, the JavaScript and CSS, and binds them and concatenates them into a single file. So you can call your HTML file any anything you want. It will just go through all the HTML files and each HTML file that has a body tag, it will just concatenate his content into one body file. And the same thing with templates um, and head tags. So let's just start with the simplest example. Just copy from here simple body tags with one p tag. Let's look at how it looks and nothing here. 
now we want to add Angular. So we're going to add the Urigo Angular package. The Urigo Angular package contains uh, is dependent on the AngularJS Angular package that contains the AngularJS library itself, plus all the services that we created to make it easier for you to work with Angular on top of Meteor and also a custom build step to do, to to make it easier. So let's do Meteor add Urigo Angular, and you can see now that it will add a Urigo Angular and all the libraries that it's dependent on. Later on we will have a step of how to create Meteor package. So it's downloading the packages and it's here. So now we have Angular. So the first thing uh, our library gives us is a way to write AngularJS templates the same way you did before, just uh, it won't collide with the Blaze templates, which Blaze is the uh, Meteor's front end, uh, default front-end uh, framework. So the way to do that is just to write our AngularJS templates instead of .html in a .ng.html files. So simplest way to do it is just to go here to the index.html file and in ng include, uh, which is an Angular directive, the index.html file we're going to create and we can just move our content there so let's create index.ng.html file and yeah let's just copy that over there now the next thing we need to do is actually to start our angular.js application and this is done exactly like you would in a regular angular.js application so the first thing we need to do is to add a javascript file so Let's create a new file, app.js, and the thing about this file and JavaScript files in general with Meteor is that uh, everything I will write here will go, will work both on the client and both on the server, unless I'm sp I specify the else. So to make sure, and Angular only runs on the client, so to make sure our code runs on the client, I'm just going to add this if statement, if Meteor is client, and we have the same for is server. And now everything that will happen here will happen only on the client. There's also a Cordova, you can check if it runs only on mobile or is server. So now let's just initialize our socially app. So it goes exactly like that. So Angular module socially, that's, the, that's our, any AngularJS app is actually a module. And this is why we can also run a few Angular apps on top of one Meteor application. And then we're dependent upon an uh, Angular Meteor library, which is the, all the services that we created to, to, run, to help you run a Meteor code in Angular, or the other way around. Um, and now we just need to initialize our app, so it's exactly like before, we're just going to add the ng app socially to our template. So let's just write it here. And now we can add, start adding AngularJS code. So let's add to the AngularJS file those curly braces. And what will happen here, it, this is an AngularJS expression and we're expected to look like two uh, strings concatenated together. So let's run Meteor. And look at our application. And yes, we can see here that AngularJS worked and binded those two together. And we can see ng-scope here, which means, and binding, which means we have AngularJS. So that's the only thing you need to do to run AngularJS uh, with Meteor.